I'm here with Anna. She's a UX designer and UX coach, and she has a lot of great content on her Instagram. She's got 25,000 followers because she's always putting so much value out there on Instagram. And so today we're gonna be talking about how to measure user experience, and Anna created this slide deck for us to share and talk about and hopefully help you understand how you can measure user experience in your own process. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be sharing about my experience when it comes to measuring the success and the impact of a user experience. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is why should we measure user experience? It's really important to quantify the progress and keep it really objective. And the reason why this is important is because we are going to be talking with our team, with our stakeholders, and it's really important to have that shared understanding. So another reason is justifying design decisions. So this is very important as well, because many times we need to explain why we are making certain design decisions. And if we are actually able to measure, then we can explain why certain design decisions are being made. So the return on investment, obviously very important if we are working in the business and we want to prove the impact of our work. Well, then we need to show the return on investment and that's um, more focused on the business, but also aligned with your users. Prioritizing efforts as well. So there are so many things that can be improved. However, if we are able to measure, then we are able to know what needs to be done first and also to allocate resources. So these are all reasons why we should measure user experience and mostly to share and promote that shared understanding within the team and also to make sure everyone is aligned and we know whether we are improving or not. Yeah, I think that these are great points on why we should even think about measuring user experience. And actually like a big important piece too is like you, you said here, the ROI, what is the return on investment for user experience? Because oftentimes user research is sometimes the first things to get cut in the budget because the stakeholders may not see enough value in that. And so it's really a, an important job of ours to, to make sure that we are able to measure our success and, and talk about money. Like that's at, at the end of the day, it's like how much are we helping this our, our company with with money and and we have and metrics is the way for us to be able to measure um, measure that measure measure the KPIs measure our all of um, all of our progress towards that those KPIs through metrics it's um, it's a struggle that we all have as UX designers but we need to have these conversations as often as we can um, to make sure that their company see the value in it yeah, exactly. And, and that being said, this is why it's also so important to talk about success. What is success for us and also for the company? So the definition of success is the accomplishment of a name or purpose. However, everyone has a different definition within the same context. And this needs to be defined right in the beginning. Like we do need to understand what is the business trying to accomplish and we do need to define success. So once we have the definition, then it's going to be so much easier to actually measure knowing what we are going to measure and establish metrics so we can understand how far we are to that goal. And that's when we get to meet metrics. So metrics are important because they allow us to quantify our results. 